Okay, so today's topic is um, removing acrylic palatal expanders. Um, the older the patient is, the more likely that they will get dental tipping of, especially the upper sixes, the upper molars and premolars when you do expansions. So you get more like an expansion and tipping when you use, for example, a Hyrex on a patient that's maybe a little bit older. Um, so there could be a difference between like an eight-year-old doing expansions on an eight-year-old versus doing it like age 12, 14. Um, so oftentimes, if you use a Hyrex on a patient that's maybe 14, uh, you'll get the expansion of the molars as well as tipping. So to avoid that, um, oftentimes we use what's called an acrylic or splint um, expander where all of the teeth are covered with acrylic. And that seemed to hold the teeth a lot more firmly, so you get more of an even expansion versus, um, and you get less tipping than if you use the Hyrex. <clears throat> now, once you cement, and, the, and these acrylic uh, expanders are, of course, they cemented, um, but um, they can be quite difficult to remove unless you fabricate it in a way that it, it can be removed a little bit easier. Um, and there was an article by Dr. Sarver. Um, and then he uh, he puts these loops in these acrylic expanders, which is exactly what we use. Um, there are little loops over by the five, between a five and a four, that if you grab a hold of it with a wine guard, um, you can uh, uh, take the acrylic expander off a lot more easily. And then uh, you make sure you use a, a plastic cement <clears throat> to cement these expanders and make sure you don't etch the teeth so much. So you want the expander to stay on, and you don't want it to come off over the, um, the course of the expansion, but also you want to be able to remove it when you're done. Um, so the, these uh, Sarver loops, will, these little metal loops, will, will help you remove these acrylic expanders uh, if you cement it properly and if the loops were made properly. Um, so um, I encourage you to, uh, to have your expanders made like that. We, we have Great Lakes Orthodontics makes our expanders. Um, as well as um, I think all of our appliances. Um, if you call them and, and, and you, you tell them that you like an acrylic expanders like I use it, um, they'll, they'll make one for you with the loops and acrylic coverage. It's also very important to cover the upper seven so they don't super rot because the acrylic opens the bite about two, three millimeters. So if you don't put, uh, if your lab doesn't put uh, an extension of the wire over the upper sevens, they can super rot if the upper sevens are in. Um, so we oftentimes use these acrylic expanders for patients that are older than 12 um, and they work quite well but removing them could be quite difficult. So we made a video uh, that you can watch and it will come right after this message uh, that shows you how easy it is to take them off if, the, if, if, you, fab if you have the lab fabricated correctly with the removing loops uh, as well as if you cemented it with the proper cement and uh, um, you, um, you didn't over etched and over uh, uh, cover the teeth with cement um, because otherwise it could be quite difficult to remove. Um, I hope you find this video uh, useful and if you have any questions it's welcome to send us a message or email and uh, I wish you good luck with uh, with expansions and acrylic expanders. It could be quite a useful tool and uh, hopefully we'll see you in, in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll post more videos like this that hopefully will make your life easier. And we have um, monthly webinars, um, so if you're interested in our webinars, it's usually uh, once a month uh, in the evening around 8.30. Um, uh, send us an email and then we'll, we'll send you a schedule. Thank you and have a great day. Bye. Thank you. There are these loops on the expander. And all you have to do is just get a hold of it, the wine guide pliers, and just gently squeeze. And then you hear the cement kind of move. And it comes right off. <laughs> and turn a little bit, sweetie. Thank you. Same thing on the other side. Just get a hold of it, and it comes right off. Without much effort. And then you see that oh. loop. And then that's the distal pin to hold the second molars up. And I just got a hold of it with a wind-up pliers and, and pull. Okay. That's it.